Welcome back everyone, I hope you're all well. If you're new to my channel, my name is Hannah, also known as Tropical Plant Addict. I hope you're all having a great December so far. I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to film a planty gift guides video, seeing as Christmas is coming up. So I kind of went around the house and had a look at all the bits and pieces I've got. Some of it I've bought myself and other bits and pieces are gifts that I've received from friends. So I know sometimes it's a bit of a struggle thinking um, what you can get people for Christmas or birthday or housewarming, any kind of special occasion. So I'm hoping to give you some ideas and inspiration on some kind of planty gifts. So friends or family that are into plants or just gifts for yourself. I'm not quite sure where to start as I've got so much stuff on the table next to me, but I did write a list. My memory is awful, so I have to write everything down. So first on my list for the Palanti gift guide ideas is a humidifier. I've had my humidifier now for just over a year and I'm still really pleased with it. It's nothing fancy, it's quite basic, but it does the job. Let me grab it. So this is my humidifier that I purchased about a year ago from Amazon. The brand is called Anon. I think that's how you pronounce it, not quite sure. It's really easy to use, it's, there's just an on and off switch. You can kind of control how much um, mist comes out of it. It is a cool mist humidifier. And what's quite cool about it as well is that this part here actually lights up in different colors so you can change the color. I'll attach a little video of it on the screen so you can see it working. I also like that it's quite compact and it's quite nice to look at. It doesn't take up much room. I'm going to try and add as many of the products I'm showing you today in my Amazon shop and I've put them under a special section called, I think I called it Christmas gift guide or Xmas gift section or something. And also when I'm browsing through Amazon, sometimes I think, oh, that's quite nice. And I add it to my wish list. And then I've also added a few of those things into the gift guide as well. So yes, this is my first idea for a gift for somebody that's into plants. It's inexpensive and as I said, I've had it a year and it still works great. I do clean it out once a week. I use a bit of apple cider vinegar, just take it apart, give it a bit of a scrub with a toothbrush. Not, not a toothbrush that I use, by the way, just one that I use for cleaning. The next thing I've got on my list is planters. Always a great gift for somebody. As you well know, I'm into my quirky planters. And if I could describe the decor in my house, it's a bit difficult because it's a bit of a a mixture of things but I would say rustic tropical maybe so the first planter I wanted to show you is this little leopard planter that I got from eBay it's really small but really detailed and just really nice quality it's only really big enough to house like a cactus or a cutting I've been using it for a begonia maculata whitey eye cutting this one lives in my office because I've got a bit of a tropical vibe going up there I actually had a look on eBay a few days ago to see if they still had any of these because I know they did a lot of other animals as well, but I couldn't actually find them. So I'll have another look and if I find them, I'll link them below for you. The next planter I wanted to show you is this awesome flamingo planter that I got from Amazon. I always get asked about this one, so I thought I would show you and I will link this into my Amazon shop as well. It is housing the lovely Philodendron Florida Ghost that um, Kaylee Ellen kindly sent me sometime in the summer, I can't quite remember. It was a very small cutting. I think I only had one or two leaves at the time. And it's gone a bit crazy and it's got loads of leaves, but no ghosts as yet. I've heard that with cuttings, this particular type of plant, it can kind of go into shock a little bit and then it may not produce the lovely white leaves for quite some time. Thanks again Kaylee if you're watching. I love this plant and I think the leaves are so cute. I've got so many different planters scattered around the house. I'm just going to make a little montage of a few of my favourite ones just to show you. If I can find some of them on Amazon I'll link them in my Amazon shop. If not I'll link the website where I purchased them from. A lot of my pots are from Ivy Line, and also I get quite a lot from HomeSense, which is part of TK Maxx. I'm not sure if TJ Maxx in America is the same as TK Maxx in the UK. So if it is, I'm not sure if you have HomeSense as well. If you do, they sell amazing pots 
and stands for plants and it's really affordable. Next on my list I have got plant pot hangers which are these cute little characters that will sit on the side of your pot and I have various designs around my home. I've got quite a lot of birds and I've got a chameleon, a hedgehog, a moose. There's a nice polar bear one as well I've seen online which I might get. I recently sent my friend Emily, who's another YouTuber, hi Emily, a couple of plant pot hangers. I got her the red parrot and I managed to find her a really cute frog plant pot hanger and he's also on Amazon so I'll link him into my shop. I might actually end up getting the frog for myself because it's so cute. Next up on my list I've got coasters, there seems to be quite a few online. My friend actually got me these awesome monstera leaf um, coasters. I think these would make an awesome planty gift for somebody. Next up I've got dishes and wall art. I absolutely love these monstera metal dishes. I think I got this one from H&M but they do seem to stock different designs each year. So I got this one and I also got this one, which looks to be like a fern leaf or something. I actually use mine as table dishes, but you could actually mount them on the wall. That would look really cool. I've also got this one as well, which is really awesome. I can't quite remember where I got it from, but I'll have a look on Amazon to see if there's anything similar. And then I've also got a set of ceramic Monstera dishes, which I think can be used as dishes or they can be mounted on the wall. I've actually put mine on the wall. This one I've taken off for now because I've put up a decoration for Christmas, but I've still got one up on the wall, which I'll show you. Handmade signs are always a really awesome gift. I got this crazy plant lady one from Etsy and I'll link the shop below for you. I think it's called Lottie Lulu or something like that. Really awesome. This one is one that I made myself and I'm meant to be stocking these on my Etsy shop, but I think I had about five or six on there. And every now and again, I would take one off and give it to someone as a gift. So I actually, I don't think I ended up selling any of them. I just ended up giving them all away. And I also recently did a custom sign for Zaheer at Plants and Paints on YouTube um, because he sent me some amazing plants recently. If you haven't seen the video, I'll link it um, above for you or below. And as a thank you, I painted him a sign. So I'll attach a picture of that for you. So I'm hoping to do some more designs soon to add to my Etsy shop, but it's just having the time to kind of sit down and paint them because it, it takes me quite a while to paint them, especially as I've got um, dodgy hands now as well. But yes, hopefully I'll have some more of these in my shop soon. <laughs> one thing that I do have in my shop, just the one thing, is this really cool tropical leaf scarf. I'll put it on for you. It's really soft. I actually bought one of these for myself probably about a year ago and I really liked it. So I actually sourced them and bought some to sell on my shop. Again, a really nice planty gift for somebody that likes scarves. I'm personally a bit of a scarf fanatic and I have at least 50 scarves in my collection. My friend bought me these awesome cacti makeup brushes, which I thought was such a lovely gift idea. If I can find these on Amazon, I'll link them in the shop or something similar. If not, I'll have a look online and then I'll link the website. I can't quite remember what brand these were. I love them though and the brushes are really soft. Next on my list, I've got jewellery. 
always a winner. One of my subscribers actually bought me a necklace and earring set in sterling silver and they are Monstera leaves. Thank you so much, Monica. That was such a thoughtful gift. Also this cute little enameled Monstera leaf pin badge is a really good gift idea. One of my friends got me this for my birthday. Next on my list, I've got watering can. This is my watering can, but it's really old and it's not something that I would really want to have out on display anywhere. So I would actually like to get myself a new watering can. I'm not quite sure what design yet. I'm actually going to have a look on Amazon tonight and if I find anything good, I'll link it into the shop as well. I mean, it does the job, but it's just not very um, easy on the eye. Next up, I've got a hygrometer. This is one I picked up from Amazon. I can't remember if it was this year or last year. I've had it quite a while now. It wasn't very expensive. It does the job and 42% humidity in the house is not very good, so I will be putting on my humidifier later. So this little hygrometer measures the humidity and the temperature in your home. I have only had to change the batteries once on it, so they seem to last for ages. I'm not sure if it does anything else. You can have it set to Fahrenheit or centigrade, and I think it lights up as well. Definitely recommend this one, I'll add it into the shop. Another really great gift idea is a photo frame. I picked up this photo frame from HomeSense, I believe, but I'll see if there is anything similar on Amazon. It's wooden, but it's been clad with like tiles or something on the front. Looks really cool. Inside the photo frame is a picture that my friend painted for me of Marvin a monster. So cute, thank you so much Laura. So I've just got my list back out again because I've completely forgotten what I've already gone through. And I don't think I've done Marimo moss balls. That would be an awesome gift for somebody. If you don't know what they are, I'll link my moss ball video below for you. But they're basically a really low maintenance house plant, something a bit different, a little bit quirky and inexpensive. So I've also got on my list ornaments, fairy lights. I absolutely love fairy lights. I've literally got them in almost every room in my house. And I think actual plants would be a lovely gift for somebody if it's obviously someone into plants. Or even if it was maybe a housewarming gift and you just got them a little cactus or a low maintenance plant like a peace lily or a snake plant or something like that. I think that would make a really lovely gift. And then I've also got bedding, pajamas and clothing on my list. I do have a nice Monstera leaf print duvet set. If you're looking for a more extravagant gift for family, friends or yourself, then something like the Biob Air, which is sat behind me, would be an awesome gift. I'll attach a bit of footage now so you can have a look if you haven't seen it already. They also do really beautiful fish tanks. I've got the Biobly 45 and living in that is my little beta or better fish called Flame. I've already linked a load of the Biob products into my Amazon shop, so they've got their own section. Also things like diaries, notepads and mobile phone cases would make an awesome gift. I just picked up a diary that's got flamingos and kind of tropical leaves all over it, it's really cool. I also think that tropical or plant themed Christmas decorations would make an awesome gift and I'll attach some pictures or a video of some of mine that I've collected over the last couple of years. There are so many planty gifts, I could just keep going forever, but I think I'll probably have to stop now otherwise the video will be going on for about an hour. And as I said, all the products will be linked into my Amazon shop or if they're not on Amazon, then I'll just try and find them online. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I really hope you found the video interesting and it's given you some inspiration for gift ideas, whether it be for friends or family or for yourself. Take care everyone and I'll see you all soon in my next video. Bye.